Hi, I'm Bonnie, and today I'm going to review the Dymo 4XL Thermal Label Printer. The Dymo 4XL Printer is a thermal printer that prints in only black and white. It's able to print 300 dots per inch, and it never needs any ink. It can print on up to 4 by 6 inch size. The reason I purchased this printer is to create shipping labels mainly. And what I used to do is I used to just print them out on regular printer paper and cut them out and tape them on. And then I found a slightly better way, which is to use these little packing slip labels. So I would put the cut paper into this label and then I would peel it off and stick it on the package. And these work okay, but it still takes a lot of time to cut out labels. So now I've moved to the Dymo printer, which prints really fast and you can just peel your labels and stick them right on your package. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print this image of an eyeball. And this is the Dymo uh, designer thing that they have here. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But first I want to show you just how much detail you can expect and you can see how fast it prints. There it goes. <laughs> we might get two. <laughs> I printed it twice. That's okay. So you can see that it's not perfect photo quality, but you still get a pretty decent print out of there. And the fact that you never need ink is just awesome because you can print really black heavy things. So you could really do so much more than just shipping labels with it. But for just text, it is really nice and crisp. And you can get a really good result with that. One of the awesome things about the thermal printer is that it's water and oil resistant. And before I bought mine, I looked at a lot of reviews and while the reviews were great and revealed a lot of useful information, nobody did an oil and water test. So I'm going to do that for you now. I think that especially people that watch my channel will really appreciate that because we work a lot with bath and body products. So in this container, I have water and in this container, I just have a little bit of sunflower oil. So I'm just going to like, for the water one, I'm just going to like dip it in and really rub around so that you can really see it. So the whole bottom half of this, I'm really rubbing that around. And then this is the oil. So I'll just pour a little bit on and I'm going to do the same thing, really rubbing it in there. So this one again, this was water and this one is oil. So while you can see that it's wet, you can see that we don't have any running of the ink. So I was really, really, really happy with this. You don't have to worry about sending your shipping labels off and being damaged by weather. Or if you use this for a product label, you don't have to worry about getting oily products or watery products or anything like that on your labels and compromising the quality of the print. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the adhesive quality of the labels. So I'm going to print another label right now. You can also kind of see how fast these print. So I'm really satisfied with the speed of the print. And this is just a little advertisement to my customer to let them know that I'm having a sale and clearance event. And also I want to cover up the eBay on here because this order is for Amazon. So there we go. I have it on the label. And then what if I made a mistake? How hard is it to take off? Well, it's on there pretty well. I'm not damaging the envelope, but I am damaging the sticker a little bit. But the adhesive is nice and sticky, so you shouldn't have to worry about it coming off your envelope once you place it on there or, or for example, a product that you are placing it on. And I have, let's see, let's use this plastic thing that I used before and let's put one on there and see how it goes on plastic. So this was just the little text print. 
and let's suppose that th that I'm using this as a product label and we'll put it on there and then we'll see how easy is it to get off plastic well, that's actually a lot easier so you would damage the label but there's nothing that's really left behind on the container so now I want to talk to you a little bit about the design program that comes with it and I'm only going to talk about this a little bit because to be honest I really don't like it I would recommend that you use another software. I use Photoshop or other Adobe softwares, but you could also use GIMP, which is like a free version, or iPiggy, which is the web-based photo editor, or just about anything else. And you can bring your photos in, which is what I've done. So this is actually just an image, but it does come with some stuff. I find some things to be a little bit glitchy. There aren't um, a whole lot of fonts it seems like there's a lot in here but maybe just not the ones that I use or they're very similar and you can use this and it does have some limited design functions you can put you can go to the image browse and you can put in stuff there's a little bit of clip art arrows business let's go to you know one of these so we have some symbols like the power button and the telephone and there's a bunch of other ones and there is probably the most important thing for a lot of small business owners is the barcode. A lot of people are going to want to use this to put barcodes on their products, especially if you're doing Amazon FBA because they need that. So there are a lot of things you can do in the design program as for actual design work. I don't really like it, but some of these other functions are helpful and it does a good job of sizing all of your labels. So I've only been showing you four by six labels, but it comes with, or it doesn't come with, sorry, you can get a lot of different size labels for this and you can use smaller labels in this printer. I just haven't done it yet, but you can. So this is uh, what the interface on the design program looks like. So shapes, lines, barcodes, What's this? QR codes. Oh, that's cool. And date and time. What's this? A counter. Oh, I guess um, I'm not sure what that's for, actually. Uh, so so that's basically the design program. So aside from the design program that it comes with that you can or you don't have to use, you might be wondering, will this work with the platform that I sell on? So this label here was an Amazon label and it works perfectly with their program. I had zero problems. And this one was an eBay. And I actually had a, uh, this one was a little bit more tricky to set up because you have to change your default size to be a four by six PDF. And then once you do that, you're able to print the label, but this was the original label I tried to print for this package. And the problem I had is that it was cutting off the top a little bit and there was a super easy fix. You just have to click the fit button in your print, pre, uh, your print settings. So once I did that, I didn't get the cutting off up here. And it's just a little line where it says US postage paid and a tiny bit of the top of this QR. So as soon as I press the fit button, they printed perfectly. So it, it totally works with all those things. It also works with Shopify, which is what I use on my site. And if you have questions about a different specific program that you use, like if you use stamps.com or Incendio or any of those others, I, I think they it's pretty universal and it works with most of those. And you, you would just check with them and make sure that it prints. And now I want to talk about the bottom line. So what does this cost? How much do the labels cost? This seems expensive, right? It actually is working out pretty well. So if you're just printing out paper, you have the cost of the paper, the cost of the ink, the cost of the tape, and whatever that is for you is going to vary. So, and then there's the cost of the time to cut it out and put it all together. I found that this, at seven cents was saving me t was saving me time and money by switching to this, even though I was still cutting paper. Um, but in tape, it saved me a lot of tape. So these cost me about seven cents each. And if I use 
uh, the Dymo name brand. And this is the roll that it came with, by the way. I'm not sure how many are in there, but it's a smaller roll. The other one is, you know, like this big around. <laughs> so if you're using these and it's Dymo brand, it's about seven cents each. So if I were comparing it to this method, I would say I cut out paper and I cut out ink and the, the bottom line is the label cost the same. Um, but then if you use other brands of thermal stickers, you can get your cost for a four by six label. And I'm only discussing the cost of four by six because the other ones are going to vary. But the four by six, you can get it down to um, actually less than three cents each if you use a different brand. So online labels ha sells these or you can find other vendors on Amazon and I'll put some links down below. And then, so what about the printer? Well, this is going to run between two and three hundred dollars. So, and it has a warranty uh, that I think is two years because it's a label, uh, I forget what it, label writer. I forget what it's called, but the different models have different warranties and it's going to be able to print a lot. So really it's about how much are you going to use it for? And when I ran the numbers for me, I figured if I only used it for shipping labels, it would pay off in the long run to go ahead and get this and switch to this. So that's money saved. That's a lot of time saved because it takes so much time to print labels, to cut labels, to insert them into this envelope, to peel it all off and all that stuff just takes a ton of time. So this really streamlines the process of packing your orders and the stickers are a lower price than this. So I really couldn't beat this. And then, so the only other thing is, are you going to invest in the upfront cost of getting the machine? So when I got it, it was on sale. It was $211 on Amazon. I'll post the link in the description below. Just know that it can vary. And right now it's in the two to $300 range for this printer. I just double checked for you and it is a two year warranty on the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. Okay, so that's it. That's my review of the Dymo Thermal 4XL Label Writer Printer. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, so if you have any other questions about this, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if I have an answer, I will help you or try to find the answer. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, then feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell.